So Andy Cohen decided to share what was not included in Vanderpump Rules reunion and he said that actually he decided to have this one-on-one -on -one meetings with Raquel Levis, with Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval because he thought that Raquel will actually not take pressure and go away if they like together and everyone is saying something about her. So he decided, it's a smart decision by the way in my opinion, but he decided to do it like one-on-one -on -one, and it was really smart. Let's see the video to see what's going on. Andy Cohen is sharing if he has any regrets from the explosive three-part Vanderpump Rules reunion. After the jam-packed reunion that was full of shocking surprises, Andy is also revealing the one moment that didn't make it on air. While responding to fan questions on the June 13th episode of his Sirius XM radio show, Andy Cohen Live, the Bravo host says this. Say more love. Do you regret having had the whole Vanderpump cast on set when Raquel came on set? No, I don't, because I think that was... Well, look, one of the reasons that I really wanted to do one-on-ones with Raquel and Tom and Ariana was I did not know how long Raquel would last on set. Yeah, I don't even know either. I would be in the same position as Andy and I would say the same things like, uh, I don't know how she's going to last and how long she's going to last and how she's going to feel. So it's a lot of pressure on her, definitely, obviously. And yeah, of course, it's better to talk one-on-one. -on -one. And if you're talking one-on-one -on -one, and then together, you can find out the truth. You can uh, get more from from these people. You know, that was yeah. what she sat through, I mean, whatever she did or didn't do. But she sat there and was really took it. But to me, it she sat there. It would be there, understandable. Well, exactly. And it took... She took it all on the chin like a champ, you know, and those people all had stuff to say to her and they were relentless and yeah. she just sat there and took it. Right. Given my years of experience in these forums, I would have right. thought that she would have walked off way sooner and, and maybe walked into her car never to having been seen again. <laughs> I don't know. Funny thing that, yeah, he's saying that he she took it like a pro, like a champ and... Um... Yeah, every, like I agree with that. So not every person can take it. But on the other hand, maybe she's just like a sociopath. I mean, if you are if you did something wrong, you don't want to like... And you know that you should be the person who go to Ariana and say like, oh, I did something wrong. Like at least like, you know, like apologize. Not put it away like it's nothing going on. It was like a big secret between you and Tom. And then all of a sudden you're regretting that and you're taking all these punches from different cast members like a champ. I don't, I mean, I feel sorry for her, for her future, but you know, it's not a good behavior. And he goes on to answer another viewer question, this time about whether or not he asked Raquel Levis about the heartfelt BFF speech Ariana Maddox made about her before finding out about the former beauty queen's months-long affair with Ariana's ex, Tom Sandoval. Um, Patty Cravey, you know did Andy ask Raquel at the reunion about her BFF speech she made at glamping? Yes, I did. I asked her in my one-on-one, -on -one and I asked her when we were all there, and I asked Ariana about it. I guess it didn't make any sense. I mean, I guess it didn't make the cut. Not didn't make any sense. It didn't make the cut. There was so much there. I mean. During the scene in question, which aired in May, Ariana gushed over her former BFF during a birthday glamping trip for Raquel. Yeah, funny thing that she actually uh, said that uh, Ariana is her best friend. And also, I read that Raquel Levis uh, said that she doesn't like Tom in the beginning. She likes Ariana more as a, I would say, love interest. Maybe like uh, she would rather have sex with Ariana than Tom. That's what I would say. Uh, and it's so weird how it all, how she behaves. I mean, I heard she's going through like psychiatric treat treatment. I mean, that's pretty normal in this situation because the person who behaves like that, like sometimes. She says one thing, next thing is like different, completely different, like 180. And you know, you look at this and like, is she crazy?
Weeks after Scandaval broke, Ariana finally confronted Raquel during the explosive Vanderpump Rules Season 10 reunion, which concluded on June 7th. And Ariana did not shy away from ripping into her co-star over the betrayal. So guys, uh, share your thoughts in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe, push the like button if you like this video, and turn the notification button to find out about the new video. See you in the next one. Bye.